Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. I got another steel tongue drum video for you today. Now if you're a subscriber or if you've seen any of my previous videos on this subject, you probably know I've got a playlist where I've got all of the steel tongue drum videos in one location and that includes some review videos. In fact, all of the drums that you're going to see in today's video have their own review video on there, but also some previous uh, questions and answers that I've gotten. There might be some useful information to you about tuning and some other things. But today I'm going to address a question I get a lot. And people ask me a lot of times they say, why would I buy a three or $400 steel tongue drum when I could buy a hundred dollar steel tongue drum? Is it really that much better? And um, that's a great question. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. And the first thing I will say on this subject is what do you intend to do with the drum? Okay. Because the higher end drums tend to be tuned to some sort of pentatonic or septatonic scale, whereas the less expensive drums tend to be tuned to major scales. Now, if that sounds like, you know, gobbledygook to you, that's okay, we're gonna explain that a little more in just a second. But here is, here is really the thing. Do you want to play familiar tunes or do you want to play improv? Because that's gonna determine which of these paths that you go down. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So this here is a Vexum steel tongue drum. It's a 12 inch drum and it costs about a hundred bucks. Pretty inexpensive drum. Now, if I just set this down on my lap here, I'm actually gonna turn it this way. And let's say I wanted to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I could keep going there, but you guys get the picture. Very easy to play that on a drum like this because it is tuned to a major scale. Okay, so it's gonna be very good for playing familiar things that you know. Now, on the other hand, if I grab my vibe drum here, which is tuned to a pentatonic scale, and if I was to try to play that, let me get this oriented correctly here. So if I was to grab this one and grab the same set of mallets here and try to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on this one, it would sound like this. It's vaguely familiar as Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but really not because those notes don't exist on this drum because it's tuned to a scale that's designed for improvisation. It is not tuned to something that's designed to play familiar tunes. So if, here's the advantage of something like this. If I just put this on my lap and I'm not even gonna put too much thought into it, but if I just randomly start hitting tongues, That sounds pretty good. And I was putting like no patterning north on that. I'm just randomly hitting things in a pattern. That sounds pretty darn good because it's tuned to an improvisational scale. Now on the flip side, if I go back to my Vexum here and I do that same thing, it doesn't sound bad per se. It's, it's in key with itself and everything. But there's a lot going on and your ear can't really lock onto a melody in there. There's too many notes. There isn't enough space between the notes and it's just not gonna be as good of a tool for improvisation. Now, again, pentatonic scales tend to be in the more higher priced drums. Typically those are tuned in, in one of those fashions, whereas in the mass produced drums are typically in major scales, but not always. I have right here behind me, this is a drum from Asmuse. It costs about $70 and it is tuned at a pentatonic scale. So if I wanted to do improv, I didn't want to spend a lot of money, this would be a great choice. Now I'll just play this one for you real quick. So as you can see, again, very easy to just improv because of that pentatonic scale. Okay, now additionally, if you really wanted to play those familiar tunes, but you wanted to spend more money, then you could get a drum like this that's tuned in a major scale. They're out there. They're a lot more rare because again, these are usually designed to be improv tools, but they are out there. Now, all of that said, there are some other things you wanna factor in. Are you going to be playing with other instruments? If you're going to play with other instruments, then you probably wanna spend a little more for the drum because they tend to do uh, more they tend to put more emphasis on the tuning and the quality of the tuning. Whereas these mass produced ones, 
sometimes the notes are a little bit off and that might not make a difference when you're playing by yourself or just doing improv type stuff but if you're gonna play with other instruments that might stand out a little more and I've heard a lot of stories from a lot of people I've gotten a lot of comments from people who said hey I went out and I bought that drum yours sounds great I bought the same drum mine sounds terrible I had to return it additionally if you like a lot of choices you're gonna have to pay for that so like this drum here again this is a fairly inexpensive drum but it comes in one color it has these little like stickers on it for the uh, for the note scale degrees and that's it there's no there's no other choices for this drum that's it this drum here my frisbee hopefully you can see that it has like a design on it here and it's in this sort of brown color and they make this in four or five different colors and they make I don't know about 30 of these different designs so if you really you know, want a blue drum with a cool like fish pattern on it, they make that. You know, if you really want a black drum, they make that, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe you like your drums very plain and they make that too. So if you have a lot of requirements for the aesthetics of the drum, you're gonna get a lot more choices with these higher end drums, with the more expensive drums. And this one I think is somewhere approaching uh, $400 with the bag. So there you have it folks. That was a quick video, but it's a question that I get asked a lot and hopefully this video helps somebody. There are valid reasons why you may spend more or less for a drum. Um, do you get what you pay for? Yes. But does everybody need to pay that much? I don't know, that's a personal decision for you. Like anything else that has to do with audio, if you look at a $100 guitar and a $1,000 guitar, the $1,000 guitar isn't 10 times as good, but it is better. And you're gonna have the same kind of ratios when you're dealing with things like this. Is a $400 drum four times as good as a $100 drum? Probably not, but is it better? Absolutely. So that's where it all just kind of comes down to your needs, your budget, and more importantly, your goal with what you want to do with that drum. So anyway, I hope this video is helpful to somebody. If you like this content, I'd really appreciate it if you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and I love to get your comments. And you know, videos like this come from your comments, so don't be shy. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.